Hi, everyone. I'm going to show you how to request library books through our Destiny Discover library catalog. The first thing you need to do is go to the library website and just make sure that you're signed in through your Chelsea Schools account. Once you get to the home page of the library website, you're going to click on library catalogs. And your very first option is the WMS library catalog or Destiny Discover. Once the page downloads, this is what you'll see, and you will just need to log in with your student account. So your username is your username that you use before you include the at chelseaschools.com. So the same username you use to log into Chromebooks and your password is just your student ID number without any zeros in front of it. And so then you will be logged into Destiny Discover. Notice it says, welcome Ms. because they, my first name is listed as Ms. Keenan, um, but it will say your name um, once you have logged in. So now you can request to borrow books from our school library. Just like in Sora, we have different collections you can take a look at. So for instance, we have new picture books, we have recently added books, or you can search by topics and genre. So perhaps I want to see um, books that are in the fantasy genre. I can click on fantasy and I will get some search results listed in the fantasy genre. What you need to pay attention to are these little flags in the top left corner of the book information. If it's red and it says out, that means someone has already borrowed it and it is not available at this moment. If you have a green flag that says in, that means you can request that book because it is in the library on our shelves and is ready to be borrowed. So if um, you want to maybe see what this book is all about, like this particular book is titled Witch and Wizard 3, I can click on the title and it will bring me to the title details page. So again, this is very much like Sora. I can read what the book is all about. Um, I can get the publication information, reviews if there are any. Um, I can see what other subjects it's tagged with. And I can see how many copies we have. Okay. If I find that this is interesting and something that I want to borrow, I will just place a hold on it. And at the bottom pops up a little notification saying that I've placed this book on hold. Okay. Anytime you want to go back to the main page, you can just click Destiny Discover, and that brings you back to this main search page. Um, if I scroll down past where we stopped with topics and genres, notice we do have some ebooks, we have some audiobooks, um, and some interactive ebooks that um, are written as graphic novels, and you can use those while you're online. Okay. Remember, you can put um, at least two books, possibly three on hold. I haven't tested that out. So maybe now I want to look for a book in the mystery genre. So I'm taking a look to see what's available. Keep in mind, we have thousands of books in our library. So you might have to scroll for a little while to find something that you're interested in, or you can use the filters over here to check for availability. So maybe I only want books that are in um, that's like Sora, um, looking for books that are available now. Um, I can choose my genre, which I've already chosen mysteries. Um, I could choose a Lexile level or a reading level. So that might help. Um, the reading level works on a scale. So maybe I want a reading level between grades five and seven. And so that will narrow my choices. But notice I still have a hundred books to choose from, 101 books to choose from. All right, so now I'm gonna see what's available. Um, notice all of these now say that they are in. So maybe I wanna try, ooh, this, this cover looks interesting, Horton Half Pot. Let's take a look at what this story is all about. 
Okay, so now I have the option to put it on hold because it is available now. Um, so I'm gonna place a hold on this book. And again, the notification pops up at the bottom. And so that's how you would put your books on hold. And notice now in the top left-hand corner where it says Destiny Discover, there's a little red circle with number two. That tells me um, if I go to my account and go to holds that I have two holds. Um, this says they are ready. That just means that they're ready to be pulled. So now I'm going to sign into the library as the librarian and I'll show you what I see when I log in. So now I have this little flag with the exclamation mark and that tells me that there are holds ready. And so I see right here, Miss Keenan has asked for Horton Halfpot and Witch and Wizard. And so um, I, as a librarian, would go in, pull the copy for you. Let's say I pull and I pull this one for myself. So once I pulled those books, I'll go to circulation and I will check the books out to you like I've done here. And so when you go back into your Destiny Discover account, notice the little red circle has disappeared. If you check your holds, none will show up. But if you look at your checkouts, here are the two books that you have borrowed. And I will deliver them either to your classroom teacher's mailbox so that they can pass them along to you, or I will bring it directly to your classroom to hand off to you. Obviously, you can always search a book by the title, like perhaps you are searching for the hate you give. Just keep in mind, spelling does matter. Um, there is no autocorrect or spell check in Destiny Discover. Um, so for instance, I had to use the U instead of Y-O-U, right? Because that's what the author uses. Um, but you can always search for a specific title of a book. You can search for an author. Like if I want books by Kate DiCamillo, which many of you know is one of my favorite authors. And so these will give me all of the books we have by Kate DiCamillo. And I can choose um, which ones I want to put on hold, okay? Keep in mind, I still have my filters uh, because notice all of these are flagged as in. So you might wanna change your filters as well. All right, so I'm excited for you to start using Destiny Discover to borrow books on your own, physical books from the library that you actually can um, keep in your classroom or take home and read on your own. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions. Happy reading.